Back Classic Game Room on Patreon! Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Cheers and welcome to Classic Game Room. It's Friday and you know what that means. That means it's time for some beer in a Pac-Man mug and Demon Attack. And today's beer was sent to the show by my friend Cody in North Dakota. It's the Centennial IPA from Flathead Lake Brewing Company in Big Fork, Montana. A good IPA. This one reminds me a lot of Southern Tier 2X. It's big and malty without being bitter. It's a good beer. Centennial IPA. Flathead Lake Brewing Company. So thanks again, Cody, and thanks to my friend David for sending Demon Attack on the Magnavox Odyssey 2 to the show, which is a rare game. Demon Attack will set you back a cup. I haven't even had a drink yet. I'm already slurring. It's always a good time for a Magnavox Odyssey 2 review. Most of the Odyssey 2 games were in-house jobs. Games like Cosmic Conflict, Casey Munchkin, UFO, and the majority of those are inexpensive and easy to collect for your Odyssey 2. The third party games, on the other hand, are a different story. There's not that many of them, they're rare, and they're expensive, like Demon Attack. Others include Atlantis, Cubert, which I previously reviewed, Frogger. Uh oh. Now they start splitting into two. Which I've never even seen, Super Cobra and a few other ones. The Odyssey 2 <laughs> applies its special Odyssey 2 look to these games, as you can see in Demon Attack. I call it the Odyssey 2 pink, like it's unmistakable. I'm pretty sure it's a color that doesn't exist anywhere else outside of the Magnavox Odyssey 2. And perhaps my green and pink Star Wars t-shirt, which by the way, I wear with authority. Oh, come on! Yeah! Woo! So, for starters, this game is expensive and it's not the best version of Demon Attack. Oh, you suck! I'm not sure which one is. Maybe the Intellivision one, it's pretty good. The Atari one is cheap and it's a lot of fun. It's a simple game. It's like Space Invaders, except kind of different. Different enough so they didn't get sued, I guess. Whoa, yeah! As you see, when you progress through the game, each level gives you more points for the aliens. Eventually, they start splitting into two and at some point, your shots finally start moving faster. But so do theirs. No! Get away from me! <laughs> Fly into my laser! Fly into my laser block! There we go! It's, it's a tough game, and as you may have noticed, you don't move on to the next level until you've eliminated the alien in the top row. Which gets pretty tricky, after they start splitting into two and then attacking you with like multiple aliens firing at you. It's a fun game. But sadly, this one lacks that awesome like 1980s album cover end boss after every couple levels, like the Intellivision and the TI-99 version. This one is better than the TI-99 game though. Suck! It plays better, it's more fun. And here I thought we were friends. We are not friends! We slaughter demons on our Magnavox Odyssey 2 because we can. I think it's fascinating that this game exists. And as a fan of the Odyssey 2, it's fun to play some of these third party games, but they're not the reason to buy an Odyssey 2. Yeah! Woo! The weird ass proprietary. Magnavox Odyssey 2 games with their incredible artwork are the reason to buy an Odyssey 2. Also, it has its own built-in keyboard, and the games have handles. Sadly, this one does not. How do you give me all this demon attack goodness and the incredible Mecha Godzilla box art, but remove the handle? Imagic. 
How high were you at any given moment, really? That's a good score for me. Somewhere around the five to 8,000 point range, the game starts to get really difficult, but it's fun though. If you have an Odyssey 2 and you're serious about collecting for it, then I'll recommend Demon Attack. Otherwise, just pick up Demon Attack for your Atari 2600 or in television. This game is fun. It's a cool game. While this one plays better than the TI-99 version, I do miss that pseudo end boss level. I watched my Intellivision review of Demon Attack a high score for now. to see what I'm talking about. The Atari game is probably the most approachable, and it's on the Atari. Oh man, I am kicking and oh boy, this looks tough. <laughs> if you played Atari today, not me, I've been playing Magnavox Odyssey 2. 8,000 points! Oh man, what am I gonna do with all these points? 8120! Stop shooting me! Now, you idiots! Ah, can't triangles and weird ass aliens just get along? Why is it so hard? It's so hard! <laughs> Good game. I will shoot you with my mighty laser and my Pac-Man beer mug. Thanks again to my friend David for sending Demon Attack to the show. If you're gonna buy this one, try to get it with the incredible box art, but I would still just go with the cheaper Atari version. Yeah! Classic Game Roma has been brought to you by how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. Ethel the Cyborg Ninja and Hazers the Coked Up Chicken on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A turbo, turbo volcano! Starting with Billy and Andy Schleiss. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Jason Gore. <laughs> Sergio Matthias Hergert. <laughs> Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>